my name is Kathy, and today I would like to share with you 10 great musical toys for your 6 to 12 months old. Now you might say that's a huge age range, right? And absolutely correct. Your 6 months old is not going to play the same as your 12 months old. But I feel like things are so fluid in that entire period where one baby will play a certain way, a different baby develops at a different pace, that all of these toys are definitely appropriate for that entire age range and beyond. So let's jump right into the toys. It took some time, honestly, to research and collect all of this. And that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of put everything together and hopefully somebody else can save time on finding great toys. So the very first toy that I wanted to mention was the Sukilele, a very awesome interactive toy, but more on a probably higher level developmental stage. So one of the modes it has in my favorite mode is the song mode. So and in this mode, what it will do is it will play a song every time you push this button. It goes into one song. push the button it plays a different song and my baby loves this mode it also has a mode where it will play a chord every time you push the button or you press the center so definitely an awesome interactive toy but my baby did not get it until probably nine to ten months so the next toy I would like to share with you is this little musical interactive bee it has two modes. It has a night mode and a day mode. So the day mode is very happy. Right? It will sing this song every time you press this button. It will kind of sing or say, do something different. And then you can also press on the bee's little hands here and we'll say different things so there's the little shapes here and colors and that's what it's going to name off now in the night mode it's very calm i love the night mode and so does my baby it has a sleep song all right and then it has several different tunes that it will play for your baby So you can also get to different tunes by pressing on the little hands. My baby mostly uses the button still um, and she's at 12 months, but you know there could be others that maybe figure out the hands a little sooner. So definitely a wonderful soothing toy and a, an activity toy as well. The next toy I'd like to share with you is this drum. So this was one of our earliest toys. And the reason is because it is so, so easy to play with. So all you do is you have to turn it on the side so the baby just has to knock it over and it starts playing a different drum tune. Right, so, and it kind of you know, can roll on the floor and so the baby would just knock it over and plays a tune and then she figured out very early that once you put it back, you know, it stops and then you can play a different tune again. The top part also works like a drum. So this could be fun uh, perhaps later, but this, this knocking over part was just so, so fun for her even at the six months mark. So another wonderful toy. Um, one of my absolute favorites, let me just go into this right away, is this Mozart Cube. The reason being that I feel like this toy is going to grow and grow and grow with my baby. It's so complex in what it can do, even though it's so simple. So again, one of the earliest toys that she used because it's very simple to actually play with. You just press the button and it starts playing a Mozart song. Right, you can switch. Now, what I want to talk about and the reason why this is so complex is once you play a specific 
Mozart tune, then you can actually start to break it down. So you can start to take away or re-add all of these different instruments that are involved in that tune. So let me show you. So now I've just left the piano, right? Now I can re-add. So I'll take away the piano. And then maybe I just want to hear the harp. My baby loves this. So just the harp is beautiful. Okay, maybe I want to re-add the horn. Right? And you can be so, so creative with this toy. I think as she grows older, she'll figure out more ways to play with it. So awesome, awesome toy. Another simple toy, but also in a way complex because there's two different ways to play with it, is this musical hedgehog vacuum. You might say, what? But it's very, very fun. So that's the fun sound that it makes when you turn it on. Now there's two ways to play with it. One is these two buttons. So your baby's going to figure this out very, very fast, right? There's two different modes. So this is one mode, and then this is a different mode. Triangle, red, square, yellow. Yep. And then first mode, there's a couple of different things that will play. So that part is very, very easy. It's just big buttons. Now, something that you can show them that they'll figure out later is once you push this green button, that's when the vacuum part comes in. <laughs> so it has a couple of different vacuum sounds. Right, so this is one, and then my favorite is this. Oh, I turned it off. Actually, right here is where you switch it. So my favorite is this sound for the vacuum, and then the little balls inside are all jumping around. She loves watching this. But even at 12 months, she has not figured out how to hold this and then press the button down because you have to keep pressing it. So again, something that will grow with the baby. Another great toy that we more recently got is this Mirari ball pop musical toy. So what differentiates this from all the other toys is that it kind of has this dual thing going on. So it has the different sounds, but actually if you press it hard enough, the balls, the balls just start start jumping it's just very fun and then it also has this other mode where it makes different weird sounds so again she loves this and she loves the balls so we'll kind of turn it over sometimes and then all the balls go back so again awesome awesome fun toy just for kind of a little bit of a rough play right there with the balls all right the next toy that I want to go into is this activity cube. Now, this is very, very simple to use, has these four big buttons here, and then some, you know, different engaging things on every side that are not digital, but, you know, kind of fun to play with. Uh, the digital parts are these right here and the buttons on the top. So let me show you. What is this? Happy tune. Right? And then it starts you know, playing different songs. If you keep pressing the buttons, it's gonna make different awesome fun sounds. And you can add some instruments in here. Yeah, so the drums. It's the green maracas. And it goes into different types of tunes. So again, very engaging for the baby, can keep them occupied for some time, especially when you first introduce this toy. All right, so another kind of a mogul musical activity toy is this elephant. I love this toy because it's actually a crawling toy, so not only is it musical and interactive, it encourages your baby to crawl. Hi, I love exploring with you. 
belly kind of starts crawling, as you can see, and the ears move. So again, that's very interesting to a baby, especially at six, seven months. My baby loved this. You know, wow, why is this elephant moving on its own? Right, it sings different songs. It has these different stars, which are buttons that you can push on the back. The only thing that I would consider in terms of introducing this is we introduced it around five, six months and we trying to encourage our baby to crawl, which was great, but she it wasn't crawling like yet. Want to crawl and explore together? Yes, we do. <laughs> um, and what ended up happening was is she would squeeze this elephant really, really tight, you know, because she's having fun as the elephant is trying to move. So now this elephant will only walk on a very smooth surface like tile and it's not walking on the carpet any longer because the friction is too much. So that's just one point of caution. If your baby really likes to squeeze the toy, it's better for the elephant to not be on. Um, and then another great crawling toy is this bee. So this bee has a couple of different modes. And what it's going to do, and I, unfortunately I don't have a big enough space <laughs> to really show this off, but this baby will just run around the floor and your baby can follow the bee. So it's, it, on the carpet it's very, very slow. On tile or wooden floor it's super, super fast. So she loves this thing. And then once you catch the bee, it kind of goes into a circle mode, starts circling. So and then when you put the bee back, it goes back into its its motion mode and it starts running away and it's you know it's off. So it has a couple of different modes here. Uh, one for a younger baby it goes in circles, and then for an older baby it can actually go in a random pattern to different rooms and so forth. It has a sensor, so it's trying to avoid you know bumping into things, and most of the time it's, it doesn't get stuck. Uh, but sometimes it does and you have to help it. So she, my baby loved this toy from six months of age forward. However, she only just now figured out how to remove the bee and put it back. So, and, and that's at around 12, 13 months mark. So, you know, your baby might first like to just look at the bee, then try to grab it, and then eventually learns to place it back. But again, a great musical activity toy. And then last but not least is this musical bar, musical activity bar. So this toy has a lot of options. It has three different languages that you can set it to. It has a music mode, an animal mode, and a color mode, um, and then uh, different levels of volume. So as far as languages, it has English, uh, Spanish, and French. So we'll, we'll set it to English. So right now it's on music, and then we can switch it to colors. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, we're, we just switched it to <laughs> to animals. Yeah, so animals, and then we can do colors. And then, of course, you you can switch it to different language. So then, this is French. Yeah, and the fun part is. Now, my baby learned this really, really early as well. If you spin this, it starts playing a tune and it has this awesome kind of a light show going on. And then if you keep spinning, it doesn't do anything. So she, the only way she can interrupt it is if she presses a button. So then it stops playing. And then it can play a different light show again. So my baby still plays with this toy again when she's at 12, 13 months, so it looks simple, but it's very engaging. Now, I want to actually also share a bonus item. It's not exactly a toy. This is a crib uh, soother aquarium. <laughs> you just refer to it as the aquarium. And what it is, is it has like this soothing light and a swimming action, so with music. 
and the reason why I want to introduce it with the musical toys is because my baby plays with this like a toy. So what she will do is at first she just loved watching it and then she figured out that if you press this button it's gonna turn off and then if you press it again it's gonna play a different song. So then it has a different song and then a different song and she will just kind of push it and push it and push on the button and this is so much fun because everybody starts to move and then they stop and then they start to move again so we consider this a toy <laughs> even though it's you know you can actually just hang it on the crib and it's great for kind of a soothing action as well so I hope this video has been helpful to you. Again, all of these toys are really, really awesome. We use them to this day. Uh, we've been basically using them for, you know, some of them for seven months. And I will share all the links with you in the description below. If you have any questions at all or suggestions maybe for other great musical toys, please share with us. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I will see you again next time.